On the other hand, I feel like things like Wayland are high wire portals. They are they are if you if you look at it with kinder eyes, you're gonna see lots of innovation happening there. Not in, in the sense of the code being written, mm -hmm. but the approaches to different things. Um like Wayland is my favorite pipe wire. I don't think people I don't think people realized how how much of a of an earth shattering groundbreaking innovation at Pipewire is because we're not still we're still not exploring the full potential of the, of this technology. I think Windows and macOS they did not have a multimedia center within not a multimedia center in the sense of a multimedia provider, but something that connects everything that can generate and consume multimedia in their desktops, Windows and Mac, they don't have anything like that. I think the reason most people don't realize is because it's been a very seamless transition. Right now, with what we're exploring, it's, hey, it's a, pi uh, it's a Pulse Audio server. Everything just works. Like, there were issues early on. Pipewire has had some, some, some bugs that needed to be ironed out. Like, I had this issue where my master audio didn't exist. So when I was capturing things in OBS, it was using the level of my speaker as what it was capturing oh. in OBS, which was not supposed to happen. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> luckily, that got dealt with a long time ago. But that during that period, I had to swap back to Pulse Audio because like this is not going to work. But Pipewire has been this very, very smooth transition. So even though it does, like, you know, obviously the video stuff is the most notable uh, most notable part with OBS on Wayland. For most people, they don't need to care about it. It's like their distro swaps out Pulse Audio to Pipewire, uh, to Pipewire and it's, it's, it's fine. If your distro decides yeah. that, you know, X11 is no longer going to be the default, it's going to be Wayland. Like, there is going to be a lot more things that you notice there, especially if you were Fedora, you know, five plus years ago when they did it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to comment much on the post audio slash pipe wired transition because it was almost a non-event. Most of people, almost everybody was mm -hmm. smooth. And that's, I've I've seen people on the internet saying that you know Wayland should have done X or Y or Z like pipe wire. Wayland, so that, we should uh, have done transition. Wayland. It should have been X twelve is my favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> like sure, if the X if the X protocol was um all right, we wouldn't have the problem. Pulse audio, the protocol was not fundamentally broken. It was just an approach. Pipewire could implement that very easily and carry on with life. Um, Wayland is not like that at all. Um, but what, what I was saying is more like, sure, there may be bugs, bugs may be fixed. It's just the nature of the whole thing. But imagine, I'm just going to, let's do Let's do a mental exercise here, buddy. Imagine you're in a professional streaming setting. Mm -hmm. You are streaming, I don't know, an event, a gaming event. You have many players, many groups, like teams. They are playing their games, and they are streaming their their games to like a local computer that captures their 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 things and composes it into like a, a nice uh, video stream that you see on Twitch, and then encodes it and sends to. It. So now imagine you have instead multiple OBS instances. One of those instances is capturing player one's game. And the second one is capturing it, uh, player two's game and putting something on the top, on top of it. And then you send those two things to two different OBS outputs into a third OBS that um, you know, composes those two scenes to players that are already composted with um, some NC effects. You compose it into something else and encode it 
and then send into another OBS. The glue that is going to do that is going to be pipe wire. We're, we're going to be able to do a lot more like cross app uh, multimedia sharing. Imagine, I don't know, you're a VTuber, you got a you know, T2D. You want to send that output to OBS Studio. And the way people do that now is having to load a kernel module called Linux Video for Linux um, Loopback, whatever. Yep. So that they can send frames to another application. <laughs> I love that fruit. I love that module. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's great. Yes. <laughs> I can see from your face that you have a pa you are passionate about it. <laughs> oh, I... The only reason I have it installed is camera loopbacks. Yeah. That's that's the because you know you there's no without it there's no way to do virtual cameras so well at least there was no way there was there will be um I can tell you that um a little peek into the future I have some patches well I basically squashed lots of patches from Wim and other contributors that introduce uh, webcams in OBS. Pipe wire. There are people working on that for Firefox and Chrome. And there's another there's another member of the OBS community who's working on a portal um, that allows media a peer to peer at media sharing. Okay. So that you can uh Inochi can send VTuber um frames to OBS Studio without a kernel module being involved. And then OBS um, can also capture the camera if you want, because when you have pipe wire, you can have multiple apps reading cameras imagine at the that. same time. <laughs> what a crazy, imagine, imagine. What a crazy <laughs> idea that is. And then OBS can compose something and export to pipe wire as a virtual camera without involving any, any any kernel modules as well. Mm -hmm. And then Firefox can also read from your um, VTuber avatar rendered on OBS with sparkling effects into Zoom or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's essentially where everything is converging now. Now, the obvious question here is, does this come with some performance overhead that the kernel approach didn't have? Is it any more performant, any less performant from what's been worked on at this point? I can't really say before having these things actually running. Mm -hmm. I would expect to be more performant because, for example, I think video for Linux doesn't uh, require, it requires you to export opaque cameras. Um, so Inochi, I think, has to export uh, uh, your VTuber avatar with a green screen behind it. Mm -hmm. And then OBS has to remove the green screen so that it has your avatar with a transparent background. You can put on top of it of you know whatever content you have. Mm -hmm. And with Pipewire, you don't have to do that. Ah. In fact, you don't even have to. In fact, you don't even have to copy the frames because Pipewire allows DMA buff sharing. So we know she just renders the thing and tells OBS, hey. This is the GPU address of my memory. Read from it. And then OBS can render that using OpenGL. So instead of downloading the frame contents into OBS memory and then uploading again to GPU memory again, it just tells the GPU, hey, copy those frames here, uh, those pixels in here, and then it gets much faster. That's A lot really of, Lots of possibilities. Yeah, it is really exciting. I don't think we grasped the how profound this change is going to impact. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I tell you, this is an innovation of the Linux desktop. I don't think Windows and Mac have anything that's close to that. Nothing on their user space. You should take advantage of, advantage of that. Instead of just thinking like, oh, we're just going to make OBS do the same, but using another technology so that it does thing with this cool technology. No, what can, do, what can you do differently and better? Um, and then use that as a selling point of the platform. Because that's one of, whilst most people have swapped over, there are still some holdouts on Pulse Audio, but it's like, why, like, 
what does it do differently? Like, it just does what Pulse is doing. I don't use Jack. I don't need it to, like, all be managed in the same thing. But things like that, like, that, that's... That can really change the way we handle video. Because I, I have always thought it was weird that when I open up something like... Um, what's it called? Um, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, the patch bay that I use that I'm forgetting the name of. Uh, Harlem? Sorry? Harlem? Helvium? Uh, I, I, not Helvium, there's another one that I use. I... That I'm completely forgetting the nail. Doesn't matter. I've always thought it was a little odd that there's this one video thing just sitting there. Nothing's using it. Because I... It's just... It's just there. Like, the, it has the video functionality, but... My webcams... They're just doing their own thing and they're not being passed through. That... You know what? I, I just realised that... Okay, that's actually really... Yeah, okay. I... <laughs> I already I can thought see it was... the, the, the tsunami of information I, getting no, to I, you now. I already thought it was cool, but just piecing together the fact that there will come a point where you can just hook up your camera into different things through a patch bay. Like, yeah. that's cool. That's really cool. Yes. Pipewire, at the end of the day, Pipewire is just a moody media. Um, it just exposed nodes of things that it can handle, mm -hmm. be it audio, MIDI, camera, whatever. There's a list of formats that it can handle, and you can connect things together. If they tell Firewire, hey, I can handle this. Mm -hmm. I have this slot. Give me whatever um, audio or something like that. So you can think of, you can go nuts on the on the ideas. You can think of as many crazy things you want. It's probably going to be possible with Firewire. And on top of that, it has a media session mechanism that allows people to implement policies on top of Firewire is like. I just have nodes in this graph. I don't do anything with them. I don't connect it to anything else. And then comes a media session that tells, hey, connect your microphone. Sorry, your microphone to, I don't know, Chromium, so that you can use WebRTC to, to speak. And then you can have a permission system on top of that. So you can say, like, I disallow, using portals, for example, you can say, I disallow this application to use my microphone. I do not allow this application to use my cameras. Um, I did see. I the... only allow this application to use this specific camera and period. Mm -hmm. And then we reach the future of the Linux desktop. I did see <laughs> you have that uh, audio portal that's being worked on. Yeah, it's still under discussion. We yeah, want yeah. to it's... see how things go. It was started two weeks ago. If it was done in two weeks, that would be a very quick turnover for anything, anything in portals. <laughs>